Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Sorted Food Ultimate Chef versus Chef Battle. Today's criteria is 14 and a half minute meals. Here we have Chef James, here we have Chef Ben. They both think they can out-chef another chef who said he could do meals in 15 minutes. <laughs> they can shave 30 seconds off of that. Ben, you're up first, what are you cooking? I'm going for sticky Cajun chicken with corn three ways. Mmm! Mm. James? I'm going for Pim's poached strawberries with clotted cream and all the flour. James, thanks for keeping up the high tempo. <laughs> <laughs> Barry, I guess there's nothing else to say but get it all! <laughs> I've bitten off more than I can chew. I've tried to be ambitious to show what might be possible in 14 and a half minutes. I'm not sure it is. Ebbers! Three, two, one, go! Preheat the pans. Next up, chicken, the thing that's going to take the longest to cook. So I've got chicken thigh. I'm going to place it on a bit of paper, cover it with another bit of paper and do that thing I learnt from Mike earlier in the week. Increase the surface area. Cajun spice, so if you're, if you're cooking in this short amount of time, use the cheats that are there, already combined. A little bit of oil. And a pinch of seasoning. I think Ben needs some like, encouragement, so like some sort of theme tune like Ben, 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 Come on, Ben! I'm not sure that's Come the kind of lyrics ben. I need help with. Come on, Ben! <laughs> okay, corn the first way is going to be in this pan. It's half milk, splash, 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 half veg stock. We'll heat that up. I'm then going to do corn the second way, which is corn fritters. Already, I feel like the pan could have been a bit warmer when it went in, but that's the challenge of the time limit. It's all right, you can hear the sizzle. <laughs> <laughs> So in my corn fritters, fresh corn, barely needs cooking when it's that fresh and that sweet. Tomato, cut into small dice, and spring onion. Evers, where's, um, where's your inspiration for this from? I wanted to pick a staple that you can cook quickly, and I figured at the start of the week we did pasta, we did eggs on Wednesday, we've done other sort of rice dish, we parboiled on Tuesday, so I wanted to pick a different staple to showcase a quick, savoury dish. Why are you cooking staples? <laughs> yeah. What kind of horse is going into this? Are you ready for the batter? The batter is really simple. It's one of those ones you don't really need to weigh anything out. It's four tablespoons of flour, one egg, and about 30 ml of milk, which is about a shot glass. So I think one critical part in my dish would be making sure, given that's got flour in it, that it's cooked out. So I've got to cook the flour in the time. I want to make them light and fluffy, so a pinch of baking powder, season generously, and then all of my stuff goes in. So that's corn, spring onion, and tomato. Tricolour, loads of stuff. Time check. We are hitting four minutes. Four, four minutes, minutes four gone. Minutes. Four minutes gone. So far, we have warm milk, raw chicken, and raw flour. Yummy. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. Change of plan, I'm going to add some coriander in here as well, because I want it with flecks of green colour. He's freestyling. James, how much freestyling is going to happen in your recipe? Uh, zero. Wow. Zero. Well, I mean, I haven't tried it yet. Wow. Altogether. Pretty much your recipe is a freestyle, is that what you're saying? Into a non-stick pan. Uh, no, not exactly. Fine cornmeal cooks really quickly. Now this has come up to a boil, I'm going to add one clove of garlic. I'm going to add a pinch of cumin. Did you get that? I'm going to season it with salt. <laughs> and then the cornmeal goes in. Pow, pow, pow. Whisk it and it pretty much cooks instantly. You're looking for like a mashed potato consistency. He's always making things that have got mashed potato consistency. I know, but Never makes mashed potato. Oh. Okay, should I do corn the third way? I've got a hot pan, it was preheating while we were waiting. I'm gonna place some oil in, you can see how hot the pan is. I'm gonna place some popcorn in, or corn kernels, and in that hot oil, they will pop. That shouldn't take long at all. Ebbers, right. ebbers, ebbers, can't you see? Your 14 and a half minute meal has to impress me. <laughs> Starting to get some popcorn poppage in there. pa pow, 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 pow. So many sound effects. You need to up your sound effect game, mate. I am going to be silent and I think that's okay. Chicken, not far off done. Amazingly already, 
but I said at the start it was sticky chicken. So now for some honey. Ooh. That's going to burn a little bit in the pan. But a splash of tequila. Oh! oh. Will stop that from reducing oh, down, no. burning. I'm going to get white girl wasted. <laughs> <laughs> and give you an amazing flavour around the chicken. He's only bringing in knowledge from honey wheat. Fritters. Oh. oh. Partially cooked. Yep. And by that I mean on one side. We'll flip them. And then the last minute, there's no fat in this really, so the last minute I'm going to throw some butter in the pan and let them brown off. Five oh. minutes remaining! Five, five minutes. minutes! Remember, you need to plate up as well, Ben, in these next five minutes. Uh, Baz? Yeah? Can you go back and do that sexier, please? Okay, in the popcorn, two flavours. A pinch of ground cumin and a squeeze of lime. <laughs> so it's lime and cumin popcorn. Have a taste. Just another texture on the plate. Oh, you didn't tell you, you got to play up. It's got four minutes, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's really lovely. Five minutes left. Yeah. You are at currently the ten and a half minute mark now. Four minutes to go! Gives me just enough time to wander to my wheelbarrow. He's gardening. No, he's got time to prune. I'm harvesting, not gardening. Dollop of our polenta. I'm avoiding the garlic. What we've got is that smoky cheese, chicken stock, a little bit of cumin. He's going to do it. 12 minutes. 12 minutes. 12 minutes tongs. gone. I thought I had some tongs. Tongs, he's missing tongs. tongs. Yeah, we can't find the tongs. Everybody panic. <laughs> Where's the tongs gone? Tongs. Chicken. Catch. Going onto the plate. <laughs> no, never mind. Doing a slightly different order than I was planning. <laughs> Popcorn's going to go in and around. A little bit of... The one and a half minutes remaining. Coriander. Who turned these off? Did you turn that off? No. Oh. I don't think they've been on. Well, they've obviously been on. Well, what Did you, you turn done? those off? No one else has been in the kitchen. Ben, in we're my here. Nightmare, in my nightmare we're moment. We're separated by this off. industrial <laughs> rope. <laughs> we <laughs> can possibly <laughs> get in. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Right, it's only fair to eat this now while it's warm. We're going to remember what we've eaten with our brains. Then James that. is going to cook and we're going to judge his. And those fritters cook. And the fritters. The fritters are soft. Popcorn is so random, mate. <laughs> Texture. You know what? The flavours are all there. Mm -hmm. Chicken. I mean, fritters could be crispier. It's very nice. I'm liking the Cajun spice on the chicken. Polenta. Always a slightly dodgy choice if you ask me. But those fritters are cooked and popcorn. Feeling any more threatened? Uh, you know what? I am more threatened by the time. I'm scared of the time, not necessarily. Then. Well, in that case, let's get on with it. Three, two, Whoa. One. Okay. Oh, no. Okay, I am going to put the hob on, so I've got the pans on. The two big hobs, small pans but big hobs, and I'm going to put some pims in one of the pans. Get that going. Um, and I'm going to put the sugar in there as well, get that heated up. How are you feeling so far, confident? Um, I am, <laughs> can you tell I'm not that confident? Right, now I'm going to hold the strawberries and half them. I've done my strawberries. They're going in the pims. Oh. They are going to poach for about 10 minutes or so. My garnish watering the strawberries with the green on for a little colour. Delicious. What do you guys think so far? Well, you're making a fruit salad. I am. Um, I'm saying strawberries and cream, but it's like strawberries and uh, a little steamed sponge. Yes, in 14 and a half minutes. He's and making a cake. He's making a cake in 14 making a little and a half cake. minutes. And I'm going to do some caramelised white chocolate in the microwave. So you make, just can I just say, here, straight off the bat, you always admit that desserts are not your forte, and I yet know, you gave it I to know, yourself idiot. in a battle format. Prosecco and elderflower in the other pan. Oh, 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 where's the rest of that? Where's and the rest of that? That is going to reduce down. I'm finding the rest of that. <laughs> With some sugar to a syrup. That should take 10 minutes or so. 
The sponge is actually the last thing that I do. What? Which is cray cray. I'm going to melt some butter in the microwave because it's super quick. I'm going to chop some white chocolate. I couldn't find the Prosecco. And the white chocolate is going to go in here. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> that was no way to <laughs> I'm chopping this so it cooks quicker. I'm going to cook that for like a minute at a time until it starts actually like burning. So it goes melty and then it seizes and starts caramelizing. So we want that like uh, solid chocolate rather than milk the chocolate. The bit where you think it's gone wrong, that's kind of what you're looking for. Exactly, yeah. And it, it's kind of, that's what you're not looking for when you microwave chocolate. Okay, I'm gonna make a cake. 10 minutes remaining. Has that been five minutes? Oh my God, that was quick. Uh, butter and sugar in a bowl. Put some flour in it first. Then the egg goes in. Milk. This looks like an all-in-one batter mix, James. This is an all-in-one batter. It's super easy, actually. And it takes less time than the white chocolate. In the microwave. Doing a cake in the microwave. And then baking powder. Give it a little bit of a rise. Listen, so, here's the thing. There's nothing wrong with the microwave. As long as you use it in the right way. God, it's Unlike safe. polenta. <laughs> True. Vanilla pod. That's probably good enough. Half a vanilla pod. Strong on flavours, though. I think that instead of showing like lots of different techniques and stuff, it really needs to be like a concentration of flavour and texture and colour. So that's going to give you a better result if you keep it super simple. Okay, my micro sponge is actually ready to go. So I've got a little ramekin and I'm going to put some strawberry jam, different, different type of strawberry, in the bottom. So we'll turn that out and the strawberry will be on top. Strawberry, mint, elderflower, vanilla, prosecco. You're ticking a lot of boxes. I'm going to fill the batter like halfway up. This is kind of a nerve wracking bit because it's going to expand and Ooh. it could just go all over the place. Where Coming am I? up to seven minutes, mate. Seven oh, minutes. Point. Eight minutes to go, oh, right? Good. Eight, well. He looks quite calm. Oh, About halfway. <laughs> apart, from, apart from the, like, it's the most tan he's ever been right now. Yeah. In. Okay, so you'll see that, that this is starting to caramelise and seize, which is what we want. Just put some freeze dried strawberries in there. Oh, so we've oh. got fresh strawberries, poached strawberries, uh, strawberry jam under the sponge, awesome. and then freeze dried strawberries strawberry in heavy. the caramel. So wait, Ben did three things with corn. You've done four things with strawberries. Well, which makes it 30% better. <laughs> I'll, I'll give Ben the benefit of the doubt because I'm using strawberry jam, which is obviously shop bought, and I'm using freeze dried strawberries, which are shop bought. But in this situation, I think you kind of need to give yourself a little, leg, little bit of a leg up and create things out of, like create the flavours and the textures out of that. Ben did grow the corn himself as well. So. <laughs> I didn't. Just yeah, I mean, he didn't, he didn't mill the cornmeal or <laughs> dry out the popcorn. But. How long does the sponge need? <laughs> the sponge takes 50 seconds, so I'm, I'm okay. okay, I'm fine. Well. I'm good. 50 seconds? 50 seconds. 50 seconds to make a cake? Yeah. I'm going to spread that out onto a baking tray and put it in the fridge just to set up a little bit. Sponge goes in. I'm impressed. Give it a minute. I mean, if it works, it sounds brilliant. It sounds delicious. Ah, it's really hot. And that Prosecco is delicious. <laughs> Tell me about it. It's nice, isn't it? I should have really have got you all a glass, shouldn't I? All right. still, time to sit. So we'll start plating up. Start plating up! Oh. See, I just locked up the plate. <laughs> the sponge is good. Well, I say it's good. I'm hoping it's good. You haven't looked at it? I haven't looked at it. No way. It's okay, that's good. That's good. It's spongy. I've got time to make another one if it's not good. <laughs> Yeah? Yeah? It's like the Ebba's frog. <laughs> if you dance, stick your finger in it. Oh, Ben. Okay. Oh, it's looking good. Look at that. Did you say there was jam in the bottom of it? It's jam in the bottom. Oh. So, just gonna like, kind of just tear that apart a little bit. It's really hot, but we want it to be hot. He's made a cake and he's deconstructed it. You have, how long have I got? A minute and a half remaining. Oh my goodness. I just went. <laughs> Some fresh strawberries, just for a bit of balance. For a bit of balance. A bit of balance, yeah. 
Are you feeling threatened? Because it looks like this is coming together quite nicely. This is looking incredible. It's, it's a game of two halves because she wants crunch. So well. sweet and sweet. So difficult to compare. Got some clotted cream, strawberries and cream. Oh, summery British. Little rose petals, like dried out rose petals, just to go over. Thirty seconds oh remaining. Gosh. What was that fluffy stuff? That was rose petals. Oh, oh whoa, 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 whoa! Few extra sprigs of mint. Wow. What is this? Just it up. I can't. I, I've and got then... fresh mint in the barrel if you want it. Ten. Nine. Eight. Three. 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 The fridge. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, play. Oh. I couldn't decide if you'd forgotten about that or you were playing it cool. Mate, it looks... Proper impressive. Thank, Thank you. you. It's like that could be in a restaurant. It's stunning. Should we eat um, this? Yep. Let's see what it tastes Brownie like. Brownie points for the spigot Right. Oh, thanks, mate. I need sponge, I need cream, I need Brownie all the straws. How have you done that? So that sponge is brilliant. How long did that sponge take? 90 seconds? 50 seconds. All right, fine. <laughs> Undercut me. <laughs> wow. The thing is, micro sponges on their own can be a little quite springy. But with everything else with it, the jam underneath it, it makes it really moist. You've got a crunch in the biscuits, you've got all the straws, all the sweetness and a bit of alcohol. All the process as well. Made a syrup, yeah. made caramelised white chocolate, Caramel. made a sponge, poached the strawberries, and then carefully selected a lot of short-bought ingredients but made them work. Ben, you, you need to just not talk. <laughs> <laughs> it's very it's good. Me it's very car fun. Caramelised very white, um, white chocolate. Mm -hmm. It's all fantastic. And it's, it's not just sweetness, is it? It's like there is balance there. There's lots of different flavours. Well. And Do you know what? rose petals on it. That's the winning dessert I'd want after a winning main. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, 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 if only then. Well, um, OK, so it's time to decide who wins. So should we, um, should we confer? Should we confer? Should we confer? Are we confirming Matt here? Mate, that was loaded. Okay. So guys, I really want to get a dog. This is going to be a proper dog, like a proper dog. medium sized dog. Just to clarify, yeah. uh, James is I like pine greens. I'm going to surprise you. Yeah, I, I, might, I might have to surprise everybody. Well, boys, any closer to this answer? We've come to a decision. <laughs> My decision is James Curry. Oh. This person, they offered me, I think, what can only be described as a mouth chasm, and that is James Curry. Oh, I, I am. That, so sweet. I'm sorry. I couldn't help myself. That was spectacular hard because your chicken was so good. I just couldn't believe that you produced. Okay. That type of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in, in 14 and a half minutes. So, mate, you deserve hey, a lot of respect fair, as well. Fair win. See, what did I tell you? Banging week, eh? And considering it was a speedy week, gosh, weren't those videos long? Golly gosh, <laughs> weren't they long? I tell you what, though, speed and all those hacks is only one thing to improve your kitchen know how. If you want to up your food game, you need to head over to nowcookit.co.uk and we'll teach you the core techniques there. And if you want to see what we're up to next week, you can go to Sorted Food right now and see tomorrow's episode. Tomorrow's theme. Tomorrow's. Next week's uh, theme. Yeah, I'm not very good at this bit. <laughs> but in all seriousness, thank you for helping to shape yet another week and some awesome recipes. Keep following us on all the social channels. They're downstairs because we need your help. See you soon. Click on the left if you missed our last video or click on the right video for one of our favourites.